If you use public transportation, whether it be buses, trains, or airplanes, you should understand your legal rights regarding accidents and injuries. My guest today is Texas personal injury attorney Greg Anderson of the law offices of Terry Bryant, and he's going to talk with us about this topic. So, Greg, thanks for being here. Thank you, Cindy. Well, Greg, in talking with Terry Bryant over the last few years, it seems to me that your firm has handled quite a few of these public transportation accidents, especially buses. Tell us about some of those from a legal perspective. Uh, we have handled quite a few bus cases. Um, uh, in, in Texas, uh, buses uh, are held to a particularly stringent standard uh, called the uh, common carrier standard. Uh, if, for instance, you are involved in a car wreck as a, as a driver, a private driver, uh, you're held to the standard of ordinary care, just being as careful as an ordinary person would be. Um, bus companies have a different standard. It's uh, a higher degree of care because uh, they are called, uh, what are called common carriers who uh, carry passengers for hire. Uh, and they're required to go beyond what an ordinary person just driving a private vehicle would do. They're required to anticipate and foresee every uh, uh, possible danger or hazard and protect their passengers from them. Okay, now Greg, in your experience, do you find that most of these accidents involve some sort of safety violations, such as texting and driving, or are they more likely to be mechanical failures? Uh, a combination of the two. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, we've not had a case exactly involving texting, but uh, for instance, here in Texas, there's a lot of uh, uh, back and forth across the border into Mexico, uh, and we've handled several cases involving uh, Mexican bus companies uh, that don't comply with American safety standards, uh, and they run their buses uh, with mechanical problems. They force drivers to drive. Um, longer than they should be uh, and would be allowed to under American law. Uh, and we run into quite a bit of that here uh, in, in the state of Texas. Greg, let me ask you about the Hudson River plane crash that occurred back in January of 2009. Pilots selling this crew are true heroes. And luckily, that incident ended without any significant injuries or loss of life. Nevertheless, the people on that plane were traumatized through no fault of their own. What happens in a case like that? Is there any liability on the part of the airlines and similarly in other situations involving public transportation? Uh, sure. Yeah, yes, there is. Uh, that particular case that you cite, uh, as you say, uh, uh, Captain Scully was a, a true hero in bringing that plane down uh, with as little harm to the passengers as, as uh, occurred. Uh, on the other hand, there were some folks who uh, suffered some serious injuries and they do have a cause of action against the airlines. Uh, that was a domestic flight between uh, New York City and Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, that plane took off from New York and, and crashed in New York, so uh, New York law would uh, uh, govern in that particular situation. And they would have, the passengers do have causes of action uh, against U.S. Airways for uh, any negligence on the part of the company in causing that plane to go down. Okay, now in a case where maybe a bus driver was negligent and there's clear liability, why is it important that a victim consult with an experienced personal injury attorney? And secondly, how important is timing in a matter like this? Well, timing is important and, and here's why. Uh, the, the bus companies uh, have their safety people, their insurance people uh, out at the scene right away. Uh, their investigation begins immediately and frankly their job of trying to limit recovery by injured passengers uh, begins right away. So if somebody uh, is hurt and waits months or, or longer to uh, contact a competent attorney, uh, then they've allowed the bus company a huge head start in investigating and working on the case. So it is important to hire an attorney as, as quickly as you can to protect your rights. Well, Greg, if someone wants more information, how can they reach the law offices of Terry Bryant? Uh, they can call us here at 800-444-5000. Uh, Greg, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Cindy. This is Cindy Speaker for State Law TV.